Our next award is the Hayakawa Book Prize. This prize is an annual award named after Esai Hayakawa, a professor, U.S. Senator, and the founding editor of ETC, a review of general semantics. And it's open to any book published in the last five years on topics and themes of direct relevance to the discipline of general semantics, including time binding, meaning, communications, media, perception, consciousness, epistemology, scientific method, etc. <laughs> Easy for you to say. The award comes with a $1,000 stipend and a plaque. And this year, it has been given to Tom Wolf for his book, The Kingdom of Speech, copies of which we have available and will be selling at a bargain basement price <laughs> with the author here to sign them at the end of the evening. $15, no tax. Take that, Amazon. It's, and it's a hardcover. And you get Tom Wolf's signature. You could sell it the next day for more. <laughs> Tom Wolf began his career as a regional newspaper reporter in the 1950s, but achieved national prominence in the 1960s following the publication of such best selling books as The Electric Kool Aid Acid Test and two collections of articles and essays Radical Chic and Mau Mauing the Flat Catchers and the candy-colored tangerine flake streamlined baby. In <laughs> Interesting titles. In 1979, Wolf published The Right Stuff, an account of pilots who became America's first astronauts. Following their training and unofficial exploits, he likened these heroes to single combat champions of a bygone era going back and forth to battle in the space race on behalf of their country. In 1983, the book was adapted as a successful feature film. His first novel, The Bonfire of the Vanities, published in 1987, was met with critical acclaim and also became a commercial success. It was adapted as a major motion picture of the same name directed by Brian De Palma. He has published three additional novels and other writings since then and is a major cultural figure. The trustees of the Institute of General Semantics are very pleased that Mr. Wolf could join us here tonight to receive his well-deserved award for the kingdom of speech in engaging an intellectually provocative book that argues that what we think and know about speech and evolution is wrong. Caitlin Flanagan, in reviewing the book for the New York Times, said that 100 years from now, the one whose work will still be read whose work will still remain imperishable in the face of any new discoveries is Wolf. In the long game, the kingdom belongs to him. This year's Hayakawa Prize also belongs to him, and I would like to call Tom Wolf up to the podium now to receive it. <laughs> 